Today we're going to talk about focal length. I'm going to go over the differences in focal length, starting with a wide angle lens, um, 17 millimeters, and then I'll take it all the way up to 300 millimeters. And so I wanted to actually show the realities of different equipment that you can get and help you pick the right lens for whatever you're trying to shoot. Today I'm using my car as a bear and I've set it 300 feet from me. For reference, if you're in Denali National Park, you're asked to stay a quarter mile from any bear and that's roughly 1,300 feet. So we're much closer here, but I think it'll be good to just show the differences. And it's more important to know the difference between the lens than how far you should be from a bear because most of you will never have to deal with bears. I shoot Nikon, and so I'm using a Nikon D90. In the, I'm using a 17 to 35 Nikon lens. This is the f2.8. Oh, yep, looking through here, that bear is really small. We're not gonna be able to do anything with it. But if you're shooting a landscape, this may be perfect. And then let's go ahead and zoom. This is a zoom lens, and so we can go from 17 millimeters to 35. That's still wide angle. And that brought it in a lot closer, but it's still very far out there. Never change your lenses out in the weather because you're gonna ruin your camera. I've heard it a thousand times. You're gonna ruin your lenses, you're gonna ruin your cameras. I have over 100,000 shots through this camera and I change lenses all the time. And yes, I stuffed it back in there without any caps on it. This is a Nikon 80 to 200 millimeter zoom lens. Again, all of these I'm using are zoom lenses. Some people seem to think that's important. Of course, all the pros will tell you that uh, you want to use prime lenses, but all the pros will also be using a zoom lens because who has time for primes? Again, never, ever, ever change your lenses out in the field because you're going to get dust in there and water and your camera's going to break and the lens is going to be trashed and the world's going to end. Everybody tells me that. Okay. Now we have 80 to 200 millimeter. This is again an f2.8 lens. And let's just see what we can get. Starting at 80 millimeter. That's looking good. And then zoom into 200. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we could definitely write home to mom and dad. We just took a picture of a bear and it's reasonable size. At least if it's as big as my car. But we're not done. I just happen to have a longer lens in here. Again, don't do this at home. I'm changing lenses with the, out in the open. There's dust and rain and bears and everything else. This is a 300 millimeter lens. This is a 200. This is an 80 to 200. This is a 70 to 300. This is a bigger lens than this. This is a consumer lens, this is a professional lens. There's a difference. One, if I drop this, it'll survive. If I drop this, oh, I have dropped this. And then all the way to 300. Oh, look at that. The bear is now pretty much filling the frame. Again, assuming your bear is as big as my car. There are some big bears out there but I have never seen a bear as big as my car, as small as my car is. And now I'm gonna try one more thing, and that is I actually have a 300 millimeter, and I'm going to attempt to use the tele extender on it, which is a 1.4, which will give me an effective 400 millimeter focal length. It's the same longest, well, longest as this, 300 millimeters, longest focal length. Um, although I did put a tele extender on it, this is 1.4 making this lens effectively a 400 millimeter lens. There. And now you can see with this image that uh, we've pretty much filled the frame. We're at 300 feet from our subject. Our subject is a fake bear known as my car. And so if your bear was as big as my car and you were 300 feet away, then you could take a, a decent picture